Hey guys, it's your pal the John Bacon coming at you live once again with another Blackout How To. How to power camp in Blackout, meaning win with low or no gear and stay into the side. So as you can see, I've edited this video down uh, for your viewing pleasure so you're not stuck watching a bunch of things you don't necessarily want to watch. Currently in our rifle inventory we have the Maddox RFB and the ICR7. We see a guy in the window here, we have the Maddox out, we open up a little bit of fire on him, we throw a Molotov, um, that hit him a little bit, so he's hiding in cover. I can see where the flames are. I'm just checking my corners. Is it only, I only had a tick mark for a little bit as far as that gear affecting him. So I want to make sure that he's in this little closet room like I think he is. Okay, I didn't reload because time for daddy to go to work with that headshot. I knew he'd be crouched. Uh, so I didn't reload outside specifically because I wanted to stay... I wanted to stay inside or get inside as soon as possible and reloading and then jumping into the window where we're reloading typically not a good idea. Got another target right here in a military truck. Uh, military trucks, I don't really use the heat seeking rockets for. Uh, a lot of people seem to target that for some reason. I don't know why you guys are doing that. Just throw a cluster bomb like this. See ya. I have uh, detonated so many military trucks by cluster bombing the front of them. It works every time and it's great. So we pick up some health, um, and I think we equip some optics and some other good gear. Uh, we found another death drop there. Uh, we got another military truck, and essentially try to rinse and repeat here. So I'm tracking and hunting him down. Uh, not really super eventful. We got a helicopter above. I go ahead and open fire with my suppressed RFB. There he is. So he's going to try to get in the truck and take off, or at least he thinks he is. I go ahead and cluster bomb him. And I put in some work on that truck. That truck ain't driving away from this. Okay, we see him in the side corner there. I go ahead and throw another cluster bomb. And then I retreat back to where I was, specifically because I want to have a better vantage point. I don't want I I want him to think he knows where I am, but he might not. So I get him up on the hill here. We're gonna put in some work with the RFB again, ICR, we're gonna throw a grenade to, behind him. That way if he retreats, the grenade's gonna blow up on him. But we, your boy with the headshot again gets the heal, uh, is able to keep in the fight. So here's where we definitely jump up in speed. Uh, and I actually cut out a significant, a significant amount of the uh, footage here just because I was pretty much power camping this whole spot for a good 10 minutes, 12 minutes approximately, and just doing what you're seeing right now. But at regular speed instead of 500% 500, 500 speed. Uh, so I was just here for 10 minutes specifically because it didn't have, you know, armor, didn't have a lot of like good perks or anything else. Kind of low on ammo. I like to be at 200, um, on the guns that I have. So I'm only at 134. I'm able to pick up some armor here and essentially push towards, uh, where the final circle will likely be. Anytime you can see the circle for the most part on your mini map, chances are you're coming up on the final circle pretty soon. Uh, Currently at three kills with nine left. And you notice that I dropped down. Oh, got shot at the right. No damage thus far, got shot at again, took damage. I'm not gonna engage in a gunfight. That's a great way to get pinched. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down into cover. I didn't use the red bandy. I used the white bandy, specifically because the red one replaces 50 health. The white one's replaced 25. I don't want to burn 50 if I only need 25. I might need 50 health later. So I'm going to continue to crawl around. I have awareness on. So I'm going to hear, I'm hearing somebody nearby. Can't tell exactly how far away they are. That's kind of the uh, bummer with awareness. It, get, it makes you superhuman as far as you're hearing, but you can't tell how far away somebody is. So I'm just crawling in the general direction of where I hear the footsteps. And I have the Maddox out because it's a QCB monster. I destroy that kid. I go from 83 to 133 with the red bandy and the white bandy. So just two bandages is all I needed there instead of more. I throw the concussion grenade out to the side to draw people's attention over there. I don't want to be seen. Four kills, six left. I'm continuing to duck down into cover. It's okay to take a few shots here and there. I've got just one little bit of armor left. I chuck a grenade off into the distance because I want people to think that I'm over there. I want attention over there away from me because I'm on the downhill section. I'm not in optimal position. I have a nine bang, or sorry, I have two nine bangs left. Um, and ideally the nine bangs, you double nine bang somebody. 
I uh, just reloaded four left. Just trying to identify where these guys are crawling around. It looks to be like we're coming up on final circle. Still moving forward on the ground, so I'm not detected. Crawling, crawling, crawling. I go ahead and put on dead silence. I should have used engineer. I don't think that I actually had time to put it on because I could hear people around. We're still at four. Crawling forward, the circle's gonna start squeezing in seven seconds. So it's important to move up a little bit, but you don't wanna get squeezed. All right. Three left, two left, so me versus Moose Razzler. I push in, I throw the nine bang over the hill, throw it over there, and I'm just throwing it to make noise. I fall back a little bit. I see him, line up the shot, rain down Fury with that Maddox RFB and its superior rate of fire. Guys, if this breakdown video was fun for you or you enjoyed it in any way, please toss a like on it, we'd greatly appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with these John Bacon's uh, how-to videos for Blackout. This is what I'm going to be calling power camping, how to lend with no or low gear. Uh, as you saw, I mean, I was camped out outside those cabins for like 10 minutes. But sometimes it's what you got to do, experiment to find good strategies in certain situations, especially if you're at the low ground. That's how you win at the low ground is by um, utilizing that strategy. Uh, if you want to share this with your friends, that'd be great. Uh, comments are always welcome. Guys, that's the Bacon's and Sizzling. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Twitch.tv forward slash the John Bacon is where I live stream to. Love to have you there. See you soon.